a 74-year-old lady is concerned about this mole on her left shoulder that's been slowly growing over the last 12 months and over the last few days has suddenly become darker. Look at the demoscopy and tell me what's going on and should we be concerned? It's around 15 millimeters in diameter, slightly irregular in color, and feels flat to touch, so perhaps a concern. She has pale, sun damaged skin. So, is this a large sort of lentigo or something else? Worst case scenario, it's a superficial spreading melanoma. Did you find the demoscopy interesting? I did. Solar lentigos often have just a homogeneous tan color to them with a scalloped edge, but this isn't that. Is this a network pattern of an evus? I think the ultraviolet light picture is most helpful, showing more of a fat fingers of a burly fissure and ridges pattern. There's some keratin scales starting to form on the surface. There's no milia, but I think this is an early seborrheic keratosis, although these often develop from solar lentigos. So why is there this darker pattern here? I did a small skin survey and found this tan-coloured papule on her neckline. Here's the demoscopy and listen to our discussion for the answer. Do you use a tanning, tanning at all? I have to uh, the last three days because I was so ah, pale. Ah, that explains it. Is it not? Is well, it... what you do is you see the... Um... To make it work. No. Yes, it's the Saint Tropez sign, named after the resort in the south of France where people go for a nice sun tan. Her artificial tan three days ago has coloured the keratin within the fissures and ridges to make it more noticeable. The mystery has been solved and our patient sent away nicely reassured.